After a hard day's work on the railroad, it's time for a little relaxation. Madam Susie knew that opening her brothel next to the railroad tracks would be a good business move. She was surprised not only did she get engineers, brakemen, conductors, and gandy dancers, but she also got some high-profile business people from town. When I originally conceived of the idea of building an HO scale brothel, I intended to 3D print it, but after my fingers reacted badly to the resin, even though I always wore gloves, I decided that 3D printing was going to be a thing of the past. I managed to 3D print the basement turret and the front and back stairs before abandoning the Mono X. I designed the house in HO scale and the original plans worked fairly well except for some small things that I had to tweak as I got further along. The plans shown here were used as patterns for the walls and as a result they got pretty dirty as the build went on. Instead of a house built of brick it would be a house built of scale lumber. The basement would be used for storage and a stair would lead down from the back door of the kitchen. The house was furnished with preserved products and the figures were from Nock. The interior walls used patterns printed on photographic paper to serve as wallpaper or paneling. The rugs on the floor, tile in the kitchen and bathrooms, and pictures on the walls were also printed on photographic paper. The windows and doors are Titchy products. The stairs were built of scale lumber. The chimneys that were framed of balsa wood and then covered in Walther's brick. There are four fireplaces in the house, each with a flickering bulb behind the wood to simulate a nice warm fire. The rooms are lit by nano lights and the floors are scale lumber stained with dark varnish. The turret would have been much better as a 3D object, but since that wasn't going to happen, the exterior walls had to be individual pieces of lumber and the roof had to be framed and then each roof panel had to be cut to individual size. Two scale shingles were used on the turret room and the main house had a styrene roof with simulated shingles that I was disappointed in. I couldn't find any more true scale shingles to make the roof look more realistic. Painting and weathering helped however. The front porch columns and railings are Titchy products. I found the gazebo on eBay and it was a nice touch for the outside landscaping. Listed in the descriptions are the various products that I used to make this early 20th century brothel. The three rooms upstairs are the primary places for business, and each room has a knock sexy scenes figure in each one of them. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.